Happy New Year, folks, and welcome back to Mars Horizon. I hope you all got into the new year well. It's the 1st of January, and I hope you all all still have your all your fingers and toes and eyes and ears and whatever can be blown off by uh, fireworks. Uh, hopefully that didn't happen to any of you, and hopefully 2021 will be a much better year than 2020 has been. So, yeah, uh, we are... Basically, just waiting to launch our uh, Mars mission, our Mars crewed Mars landing. We're at 98% Mars expertise. Next month, we'll be at 99% because the Ariane 6 will be done. And there we go. World Watch's lunar broadcast. Millions worldwide tune in to watch the live lunar broadcast conducted by your astronauts after a successful landing on the moon. Your PR team attributed the record viewing figures to your agency granting free broadcasting rights to all television stations. In a popular section of the broadcast, astronaut Bronwyn Martin performed an unscripted leaping moonwalk, which Mission Control described as mildly alarming. Gained 400 support. Nice. Ariane 6 research complete and efficient liquid fueled heavy launch rocket which can place large payloads into Earth orbit and beyond. Now, next, we are going to research the supplementary Ariane 5 boosters uh, because that gives us 1% Mars expertise and that takes us to 100%. And it actually says 100% already, but it's not quite, because our chance of mission success is only average. I want to see if getting that little bit extra expertise will get us a good or something uh, chance of mission success. So we're launching the Venusian weather report in seven months. We have the funding review in seven months, month, March, months and we won't hit the next funding tier by then. But we will actually have the Ariane uh, 5 research done before then. Mars Lander commemorated. Your PR department has marked the 25th anniversary of placing a lander on Mars by releasing a series of limited edition posters, which have sparked renewed interest in, in your interest in your future Mars missions, gained 250 support. Nice. We don't have that many missions ongoing. We basically only have the Venusian weather report, and that is because we are basically just waiting for this. But we do have a new quest mission here. We don't want to do it though. Next month, 2909, we have a new request mission here, which is also challenging. Another lunar broadcast. But we don't really need to do it. We have the signs that we need. So let's just continue on. And next month, we will have CMB 10,560 signs. Let's plan that mission. We'll give it some extra power. We have plenty of money, so let's build that. It's another X-ray telescope. Not that we need the science, but why not? Uh, it's a l quick little mission that we can do. And it's all good. Uh, let's take a look at Mars real quick and see where the others are. Uh, no one has the research for engine and habitat. No one has the research for the lander. Japan has the research for the robotic rover, but are not planning the mission. No one has the research for the sample retrieval. Uh, China has the research for the ground hab, but are not planning the mission. And Japan has for the crewed rover, but are not planning the mission. We have completed all the missions. So that is sweet. We are way, way, way ahead. Next month. Two times Ariane 5 research complete. Two powerful strap-on solid fuel boosters, fuel rocket boosters designed to improve the thrust of the attached vehicle. Nice. Uh, let's see. Mars readiness. Chance of mission success. Good. Your agency is as ready as it will ever be to land humans on the red planet. The mission will be challenging, but you have a good chance of success. Good luck, director. Thank you. All right. And the others are, Japan is closest at 45%. They have actually overtaken China because they were leading. Uh, China is second with, with 43%, then Russia with 30 and NASA is just trailing way behind at 22%.
Let's set some research here. Uh, this will give us 10% launch reliability. Minus 10% vehicle build costs. It doesn't really matter, does it? Let's just do the mobile launch platform. And let's plan a mission, shall we? Crude Mars landing. So I guess... The game doesn't actually end when we do the Crude Mars landing. But that's our goal. Our game will end when we perform the Crude Mars landing. Because that is the goal of the game. Set, setting foot upon Mars will be a landmark in human history. To accomplish such a feat will require the ingenuity and expertise of thousands of agency staff, including the astronauts brave enough to undertake the journey. Making humans a multiplanetary species will be our greatest challenge and our greatest achievement. Plan the mission. Ten month mission, three phases. Let's do it. It's the acts we can't change it at all it's bog standard no other options it has a crew capacity of four people standing power of six mass of 120,000 kilos build time of 10 months and it costs almost four million payload rating is five 95 percent payload reliability very nice select payload Build payload. Nice. So now, plant mission in planning stages. <laughs> you are so far behind everyone else. It's crazy. All right. Uh, let's take a look at our astronauts. Away for six months, one month, one month. Six months, one month, one month, six months, six months, uh, one month, and one month. So Jadius is most definitely going. He is a subscriber to the channel and requested to have his name in here. So Jadius, you are going to Mars, my friend. You are going to Mars. I hope you're looking forward to it. All right, let's just go to next event. Skylab crew return. United Space Nurse astronauts have safely landed on Earth after spending 12 months aboard the space station Skylab. In a televised interview, astronaut Kendrick Edwards was asked about taking a space shower on the station and revealed an incident where another crew member rigged the system so that the water was ice cold. I spent three hours setting up that shower, the astronaut lamented. I didn't speak them to them for a week afterwards. I can understand that. Gained 200 support. Nice. And everyone has returned to active duty. Russia completed phase one of Saturn over there. Good job. Next event. And budget review. We're almost there, but not quite. Need another four and a half thousand or so. But the Venusian weather report uh, is ready. We have 91% launch reliability, 70% payload reliability. Let's go. Adequate conditions, 1% risk of going boom, 5% of a negative event. Let's go Venusian weather report. Lift off. Clear the tower. And keep going, buddy. Keep going. Up, up, and away! Go, go! And we get a secure launch. No mission effects. The Atlas and Athena are as reliable as they get. Into Venus transfer orbit. Alright. We need 10 comms, 10 nav, 6 thrust. Uh, so we need to hit... Calculated thrust to burn twice on the last turn. We have five turns, three commands per turn. 
So we need to have, in fact, 12 comms, and we need to have four data as well. Alrighty. So let's do a signal attenuation test. A Doppler tracking. It gives us three, three, and zero. And then a solar flare analysis. That gives us two, two, and four. All right. Dang it. We'll resist that. Okay. So then I think we'll do two mission control monitorings. That gives us 12, 0, and 0. But then we can do uh, a manual thrust adjustment, giving, giving us 9, 4, and 1. I think that's okay. Dang it. Assist it. Okay. Three turns left. So we just need to get to eight. Uh, nav. So if we do a manual thrust adjustment, then we're there. And we're actually there. Then we can do two signal attenuation tests. That gives us 12, 8, and 2. That's fine. As long as we don't have to resist too much. All right. Now we do need to recharge some power. So if we do that, then we have everything we need. And we just need to hit that twice, so we'll be able to resist once. As long as we don't have to resist this one. Nope. So, to recharge power, two calculated thruster burns. That's 50% bonus reward achieved, right on the money with the comms and the nav. And we can afford to lose a thrust or two, but we can resist one of them, so we only have to be able to lose one. Oh, we got an extra nav there. Nice. Alright. 50% bonus reward achieved. Venus transfer trajectory is good. 389 science for four months. We have a new request mission here, long duration flight. We're not going to do it. We are just going to go on to the next event. Mobile launch platform research complete. A more mobile launch platform allows to reconstruct. Let's try that again, shall we? A mobile platform allows a vehicle to be constructed in one area, move to a designated launch site, then launch from that same platform. Okay. Uh, let's do some more research. We'll do the space plane runway. And let's see if we can even fit this thing in here. Nope. We most... Oh, we can. We can actually fit it in here and even get minus 3% vehicle build time. Let's do it. Still have more than 30 million, so it's all good. Achievement unlocked for space. All right, let's continue on to the next event. Next mission phase ready. Venusian weather report is ready for its next mission phase. Go to the active mission screen to continue this mission. Okay. 
and we need to design the vehicle for this guy 8,500 kilos but why does it need to be so big? Whoa, 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 whoa. 95, 1.1 million, 637,000. This has, DCSS has 80% launch reliability, but the Saturn V has 85%, or the Saturn II, sorry. Let's just choose that. We'll choose the Saturn V, and we'll do advanced shock absorption for the extra payload reliability. And we will be the contractor. 13 months build time, build it. We have the next phase of the Venusian weather report. And phase two. And we need to achieve Venus orbit. We need to deal with heat. We get two heat per turn. We need to keep it below four. We need 14 com, four data, 14 nav. We have five turns, three commands per turn. Okie dokie. Let's do a visual spectrum sampling. And a gyroscopic stabilization and a data compression. That takes us to eight, zero and two and leaves us at two heat that seems pretty good to me nice start with an extra data there then the second turn wasn't so great and the second command all right eight one and two and we're up to four heat so we need to bring the heat down so if we do an orbital plane adjustment then we can do a packet transfer and I think hmm, another orbital plane adjustment, 12, 1, 11. We're down to one heat. Uh, we are also down to two power, but that's okay, I think. Let's resist that. Okay, we're back up to three heat, but if we do, we have three turns, if we do this, takes us to 16, 3, and 8, with two turns left. We'll have to do this next turn to get our heat down, but that will also take us to the 14 nav, and then we can just do a visual spectrum sampling. I think I'm good with this. Nice. That's an extra data. So we'll do an orbital plane adjustment. We'll do a visual spectrum sampling. That'll give us our 50% bonus award. And we can even recharge some power so that we can resist once. So 16, 6, and 14. Heat where it should be. All is wonderful. Except that we have to resist here. Yes, we do. Don't want to lose two nav there, but we actually get an extra data there, an extra a little bonus, and wonderful, 50% bonus award achieved. Nice, and that's the mission. Fantastic. Another 647 science for 10 months, 983 support. We're doing almost 2,000 science a month at the moment. The ACTS or ACTS is complete in 
three months, the mobile launch platform in six months, and the sturgeon is complete in 13 months. We have the Ferro funding review in eight months. So let's we have a new request mission on Venus. Space plane runway research complete. Space planes can operate in space as well as serve as an aircraft in Earth's atmosphere, making them a tremendous reusable asset for a space agency. Yes, they have been wonderful. Itinerant construction research complete. No cost to moving buildings. Aided by our experience in developing complex facilities, our engineers have devised construction methods that should greatly reduce overheads when relocating buildings. Okay. Let's see if we can fit this in here without relocating. New. No. Wow, that's big. There's no way. How many? 1, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Um, no, I, don't, I don't want to build it. 18, so one, let's just see, ow, right, so there's five there, plus four, that's nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, so there are 20 tiles left. I'd love to build it, but I don't see how. I mean, we could move stuff around. We could move stuff around, but is it really worth doing it? No, I don't think it is. Let's just jump out of here. Start the next research. Uh, deep Space Network, plus 5% payload reliability. Wow, plus 10% Mars experience award from successful missions. That's actually quite nice, but we don't really need it. We have a new request mission here, endurance test. And we have a new request mission on Earth, uh, traffic tracking. A challenging one, but it's lucrative, but I don't care. Next month, galactic black hole study proposal. A team of researchers have proposed using your space telescope launched in the X-ray telescope mission to perform a dedicated study of black holes at the center of nearby galaxies to learn more about their properties and prevalence. The project will require funding but has a chance of producing additional firing uh, science. Approve for 400,000 or reject. We're going to approve, of course. Uh, you have approved the proposal. The researchers estimate that they will deliver results, positive or negative, in six months' time. All right. And the crewed Mars landing payload is complete. Look at it. Isn't it beautiful? I think it's beautiful. Nice. Let's design the vehicle. Plus 100% booster upgrade points. Minus 100% upper stage upgrade points. Okay. It's just reusing the shuttle? I don't think so. Well, can we? 120,000 kilos? I don't think so. Can we reuse the Beetlejuice? No. Let's design a new one. Yeah, see, the only thing that we can do is... Well, we could use the Saturn V, but I'd rather use the SLS Block II. It's more expensive. Uh, but 85% reliability, 87% reliability. It's it even takes a little bit shorter time to build, and we can even put supplementary boosters on it, giving it 97% launch reliability. So yeah, we're doing that. And for the upgrade. We have that. What's that? No negative event can occur during launch. Does not affect critical events. Um, visual event changing. Chance is converted to positive event. Emergency power system. Can restart a task once per mission? 
We're going to go with that. We're going to go with that. Uh, for the constructor. Or contractor. I'm actually going to go with Red Giant here. It costs a lot more, 50% 50, 50%, but it's eight months faster to build. And it's not going to be called the Marmaduke. Uh, it's going to be called uh, US and United Space Nerds. Let's go back a second. Uh, hmm. Yeah, US and. But what's the name of the actual vehicle gonna be? US and. And it's going to be Red Giant. The upgrade is going to be the emergency power system. And it's not going to be called Happiness either. It's going to be called USN uh, Red Planet. USN Red Planet is what it's going to be called. Or is it? Yeah. Yeah, USN Red Planet, 95% launch reliability, 95% payload reliability. We have the emergency power system, which we allows us to restart a task. It'll take eight months to build. Cost eight and a half million. I am very happy with this. Confirm. Build vehicle. Eight months build time, guys. Let's continue to the next event. The mobile launch platform is complete. In two months, we have a new request mission somewhere. Jupiter. Jupiter is much atmospheric probe. A challenging mission. We don't need to do it. I'm not going to do it. Uh, next event. And the mobile launch platform is complete. Minus 10% vehicle build cost. Doesn't really matter. Next event. We get a little bit more support, but not enough to get up to the next level. No, traffic tracking, no. Next event. And the next event is the USN Red Planet Complete. Deep Space Network research complete as well. The Deep Space Network is an array of vast radio antennas that aids interplanetary missions via the, its unrivaled telecommunications capabilities. Okay. But this is what we want to see. Look at that beauty. Plus 10% payload reliability, nice. Minus 50% uh, mission training bonus per month. That's fine. All right, guys. Who's going? Well, first on the sheet is Jadius. Jadius, you're going. Let's see what uh, we have here. Double time counts as two crew in mission. Wow, that is nice. Double time, you're hired. Rocket scientist, plus one navigation for every crew command in mission. Extremely lucky, plus 10% chance of positive mission events. Let's hire you. So... Extremely lucky. 
You're assigned. Our double time is assigned. And hmm, plus one power per turn in mission. That's a very nice one, electronics expert. So J Elliot James is going. Pierre Julian Willington is going. Aisling Moser is going. And Jadis Jr. is going. All right. A double time, an electronics expert, an extremely lucky, and a scientist. Confirm. We'll go with science, of course. We are already super duper reliable in every which way. The launch date will be August 2000. And five. Wait, no. Why does it say June? It's off. August 2006. There's something wrong with the calendar over here. August 2006 is the launch date, so it's in exactly a year. No, August 2005. August 2005. One year, four months to go until we are ready. And the mission crew and operation team will begin preparation for launch. The crewed Mars landing mission will launch on August 2005, one year, four months from now. Nice! We need to do some more research. We'll finish up the building research, I guess. It's very expensive, though. 20,000. Let's just do something else. Let's do the SLS Block 1. Yeah, let's do the SLS block one. And let's take a quick look at the deep space network and see how big that is. That's six. So there is absolutely no way, possible way, that we could build everything. There's something that would have to go because we only have 18 uh, squares left. No, we have 20 squares left. The space runway costs 18. So there's absolutely no way that we could build everything. That's impossible. Unless for some reason we can suddenly move, remove these, then maybe we could. We have a new request mission here. Astronaut recovery test. We don't need to do it. So next time, I do believe, will be the final episode of Mars Horizon because we will be launching the crewed Mars landing in the next one guys and the Sturgeon as well what is it that mission is uh, CMB mapping oh that's right that's right cool so yeah thank you very much for watching guys I hope you're looking forward to the next episode which will be the final one so make sure to come back for that. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe. And uh, again, Happy New Year and take care of yourselves. And I hope 2021 is a better year than 2020. Bye for now, guys.